Hi, my name is Evan Rubin, and today I'll be demonstrating a web app application I created for the Capital Area Greenbelt. So first, I'm gonna give uh, an introduction on the topic and give some background information. And next, I'll give a demonstration of the map's functionality. So this interactive map was complete for a grad school course at the University of Wisconsin. The Greenbelt is a 20 mile looping trail located right here in Harrisburg. The trail loop surrounds the city limits and provides visitors and tourists with opportunities to hike, ride bicycles, skate, jog, and fish. <clears throat> While parts of the trail are shared with roads, most of the loop itself is on its own dedicated path. What makes this park system so special is its connectivity with other Harrisburg parks and attractions. The park passes along the Susquehanna River and goes through reservoir, riverfront, and wildwood parks. In addition, the Green Belt passes the Governor's Mansion and National Civil War Museum. The interactive visitor map I developed is focused around the themes of general tourism and recreation. It features a mobile-friendly layout, which is compatible for any desktop or mobile device. The site was developed in Leaflet using Carto, PostgreSQL, HTML, Bootstrap, jQuery, and several other Leaflet plugins. <clears throat> the data for this project was downloaded from PASDA, Dauphin County Open Data, and OpenStreetMaps. There is also a user submission element which allows users to submit their own data to the project. <clears throat> the map itself includes several layers, including park boundaries, roads, trails, parking lots, restrooms, historic markers, public arts, and significant buildings. We also incorporated a, a mountain bike trail. The site is mainly intended for tourists to visit Harrisburg but are not familiar with the park systems or trails. The first aspect I want to demonstrate is the device location function, <clears throat> which is shown right here on uh, with this red dot and pop-up. Upon launching the app, the user will be asked if they want to share their current location. So you can see that's actually where my apartment is down here in relation to the uh, actual park area. Next, we'll move to the top right corner <clears throat> where the user can toggle from map to satellite view. The user can also toggle the Harrisburg Parks layer the actual park features layer, and the mountain bike trail layer, which is located right down here in red. <clears throat> Each of the park features and trails feature a unique pop-up, which gives some more information on that particular feature. So you can see here, this is the John Harris history marker. It's a parking lot down here. Another parking lot. <clears throat> this is the PA State Capitol building. And give some other general information on some art and markers. <clears throat> so next we'll move over to the leaflet sidebar. This features the rest of the uh, maps functionality. This uh, sidebar features five main tabs. The main tab or the home tab features some background information on the park itself and then includes links to the main capital area Greenbelt websites and the city of Harrisburg website as well. So as you can see the actual, that link <clears throat> sent us to the capital Greenbelt website here and the other links send us to the City of Harrisburg website. <clears throat> we also include a features tab, sorry, filter park features tab, which allows users to filter out specific features, whether it's restrooms, parking lots, public arts, historical markers, or important buildings. As you can see, we also included a uh, half mile buffer, which 
displays features that are within a half mile of the user's current location. Next tool is the Submit Observations tool, which allows users to submit their own park feature observations to the map by simply clicking on Use Current Location, which populates this lot long field, or clicking a point. The user can then pick a park feature and then click the submit button here. Doing this will improve the capabilities of the map and makes it increase its functionality for future users. So next is the legend tab, which features some icons and some of the Harrisburg Park legend uh, type so you can easily identify the green from the red and versus the actual polygons. And then next is a general history layer which gives the user some background information on the park. Uh, maybe, maybe they want to learn about some of the original planners of the park <clears throat> or maybe they want to learn about some of the original architecture of Harrisburg and the surrounding areas. The user can follow those links to learn more about the history of Harrisburg and the capital area Greenbelt. We also included a link to the Get Involved page. All right, so lastly, I'll show you some of the mobile capabilities of the map. So we're just going to right click here in uh, Firefox Developer and go to Inspect Element. Next, we'll click on this button here, Responsive Design Mode. This allows us to test our application on various mobile platforms such as iPad, Galaxy, uh, Kindle, etc. On the iPad, as you can see, the leaflet tab still expands. Everything still expands. <clears throat> On the iPhone, nothing is cut off. All the text is properly shown. And the user can still use some of the main functions, such as the feature tool here. It allows them to filter out specific features. <clears throat> All right, so that concludes my demonstration of project two. Some improvements I want to make in the future are some more pop-up uh, images or some more information to display on the pop-up. I also want to display some more information, uh, maybe include some more tabs here and include some more links uh, and also maybe improve some of the uh, some polygons here. Maybe, maybe make these a little more detailed to match up with some of the uh, background base maps. And also to include a color coding um, aspect for the mountain bike trail. So as you can see here, the mountain bike trail shows the name of the trail and the uh, difficulty level. So that one's an intermediate level. I think. Appears in experts and maybe we can change the expert difficulty level trails to black with and leave the intermediate ones as, as green or blue. So those are some possible improvements in the future. All right, thank you for listening and thank you for watching my presentation.